This is just a bit of a quick extra video. I wanted to show you something that had just arrived in the post. I've got these three boxes from Anders Enger Jensen. You may be familiar that he's the musician who does synth based retro music, who's provided me with some cassettes in the past, Retro Grooves 1 and 2. He's also worked with the 8-bit guy on his game projects, and also you'll hear his music used in the background on that channel. Well, he sent me his latest releases. We've got cassette of Retro Groove Volume 3. I haven't opened these yet, so there you go. That's a nice, uh, nice package there. Uh, also, he sent me the cassette for Planet X3, which is the 8-bit guy's game. That's the uh, soundtrack to that. So I'm going to enjoy listening to those. But I'm not really here to talk about cassettes. You might be able to figure out what I am talking about, because in the third box, he sent me a mini disc. Now, this is the first newly recorded mini disc that I've got in my collection after 1999 i think i mean the original mini discs when they came out they came out in boxes like this uh, they were released in limited numbers really we i've discussed it in the mini disc video that the, the pre-recorded mini discs were never very popular people with mini discs tended to record their cds and things so that they could listen to them uh, on their mini disc players while they were uh, walking around etc uh, but yeah they did produce some pre-recorded albums but they really tailed off in the early 2000s, there were a couple of years there where they still released the odd one or two, but I think after, say, 2003, perhaps, they died off completely. Well, I've got a new mini-disc album here. So this is Retro Grooves Volume 3. Now, of course, they no longer do the cases. You can't buy this uh, design of case anymore, but they've got a nice little case. It's a lot like a kind of um, case for a a floppy disk, I suppose, really, or a, a mini CD. Well, it is really, isn't it? Uh, but I'll show you this in close up so you could just have a look around it because they've done a really good job here. All the printing's been done by the company that's um, duplicated these for Anders. And I think it's really nice uh, design that. In fact, I'd prefer it to the original mini disk cases. Now, talking of mini disk, uh, before I play it in one of these machines, I've got a couple of machines here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the fact that mini disc is still kind of alive it's on life support really but if we just go off anders website which is eox.no if you were to go to japan or order from japan you can get new blank mini discs these are sony ones i'm sure there's some others out there as well but yes you can still buy blank sony mini discs in japan at the moment this isn't going to last forever but obviously if you're going to produce some mini discs you want blanks you don't want to be wiping off old ones or buying second hand ones you can also buy a new mini disc player still in japan this is a tascam md cd1 mark 3 what a brilliant name it costs 110,000 yen apparently so that's not cheap so if we go to the tiak model which is the same thing this is a cd and mini disc combo uh, this is 61,200 yen but of course then you've got a pay for shipping, import duty, etc. Expensive. We're still talking sort of five, six, seven hundred pounds once it's all done. You're much better off just buying a, a second hand mini display if you really want one. So instead you could just go on eBay, buy a second hand mini display. They're generally quite reliable. I mean we're looking here, you could buy this one fifty pounds plus eight pound postage, sixty pounds, sixty pounds. Those are the buy it now prices. I've seen them sell for sort of thirty pounds and things. So yeah, if you wanted a mini disc uh, recorder, I wouldn't go spending 800 pounds or whatever it was on one now as far as getting these mini discs duplicated this is the bit that interested me i spoke to anders about this uh last year sometime and he said he was looking into getting mini discs duplicated i think it was based on something that i'd said in one of my videos at some point where he uh the idea kind of crept into his head that i wonder if he could get them still and he could he got them from this uh, company in the uk called bandcds.co uk they will duplicate cassettes etc cds but also still do mini discs now according to this high quality recording on brand new sony mini discs minimum orders start at just five up to 80 minutes of audio recorded using a track 4.5 and they also print directly onto the mini disc in color so we're not talking about sticking labels over the bit where it says sony 80 minutes and things it's properly done this so we'll have a look at this in a second so yeah apparently according to anders it didn't cost him that much more than the cassettes he uh he gets done because of course with those he's getting them all printed up with the labels and things and the boxes i mean 
difference between that and that as far as cost of manufacture uh, apparently not that much this company also does some interesting cassettes this was amusing a cigarette type design but it's just a cassette in a box and uh, they do nice on tape printing so they're all geared up for that kind of stuff but as far as the cost of these go on Anders site at the moment he's selling the mini disc for $25 and the cassette for $24 so yeah not much in it at all so that's enough of the intro let's open this up and have a look at it initially when I looked at this I thought this green section here was a card an inlay of some description but no that's the mini disc itself the surface printing is so bright and it covers the whole of the side you can see when you flip it over that we've got the label at the top or I say label the section that list the track titles but again it's not a label it's been printed onto the disc itself a much nicer way of presenting mini discs i think compared to the way that they were released in the 90s as pre-recorded albums we've got the inlay in here which of course has the track titles on but then goes into more detail about the individual tracks themselves now the machines I'm going to play this back on are a little bit unusual. I thought I'd just break something out that you hadn't seen before. These are both XBBC. This one would have been used as a field reporter's recorder and this is for a DJ to play back jingles. They both come from BBC Wales via eBay. Now this machine that would have replaced a cart machine has to be ready to play those jingles etc back instantaneously as soon as that button is pressed. Imagine both these machines could tell some tales if they could speak. They've got quite a few battle scars on them, but they are still working fine. Of course, this is a standard mini disc. It's not high MD, it's not MDLP, which means it should play back fine on any machine. one of the big benefits of mini disc over cassette is the ease of access of the tracks and the fact that you get the track titles listed on all the machines as long as they've got a display on them I suppose this is one of my favorite machines it's an older mini disc Walkman but I just really love the design of it if anyone wants to hear the difference between the mini disc and the cassette I've done a direct feed recording of both of them playing the same track so have a listen So there you go just a quick video thought that was a bit of fun worth sharing with you in case anyone does want to get hold of a new mini disc now, I'm not one of those people that says mini disc is making a comeback as soon as anybody releases anything on an old format immediately they start saying it's making a comeback no this is a novelty a bit of fun just an unusual and interesting way to spread your music around you can download it if you want there's a download option on the website that's cheaper than this but it's good that I can get a new mini disc pre-recorded in 2019 and if you want one you can get one from eox.no of course you can get hold of the cassette as well but there you go just a little bit of a plug for Anders after all I did get these for free I thought it was only fair to share and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it and that's it for the moment as always thanks for watching <laughs>